comes a point in the spiritual journey where one feels that they have everything they need. They're whole and complete. They're able to feel fully, relax completely, here and now. Their heart is beating. Their lungs are breathing. There is no feeling of needing for seeking. So it's found right now. So timeless peace, infinite stillness, fathomless abyss. One is simply the loving witness. If thought even arises. It simultaneously passes. There is no identification with it. Because one is simply the loving witness. It's a simultaneous sinking feeling where one falls deeper and deeper into their own being simultaneous with a profound arising of this energy this awareness within us both ends of the spectrum. It's whole and complete and total. It's like a fathomless, profound chasm. Which is a synonym for abyss, a timeless silence. It's infinite. Or there's no person present. course, we can re-energize, reactivate that persona to interact with the world around us. But again, there's no identification with it. It kind of runs on its own motor, so to speak. There's no personal will behind the persona. functions automatically, effortlessly, spontaneously, and thus there's no resistance, there's absolute non-resistance amidst every circumstance, and thus complete contentment, whatever the circumstance, whatever the weather whether perceived pleasure or pain, they're viewed as one and the same. Because that transcendent aspect of us, the love and witness, that never changes. Whatever is going on around us, 
or within us. Objectively, outwardly, or subjectively, inwardly. Ultimately, they're one and the same. Existentially, there is no difference between the life in this and the life in that. What is this and what is that? The life in me, the life in you. It's the same. Behind the mask, the personality, which some of us may confuse as our identity. And then we open our hearts completely and deeply. And we function from there primarily, energetically. That's our base state of being. But we're really in tune with our femininity, our feeling. We're able to witness this for ourselves. And thus not identify with the self. The personality. Although, again, the aspect of us is there. We just don't see it as our identity. Stillness, silence, the back of, at root of, the source of, the thought that arises, is our identity. And then we know that. We're able to live there permanently. There is a sense of wholeness, abundance, which is reflected outwardly in the world around us, which is manifestation or reflection of subjectivity of the world within us. Again, there's no fundamental difference. At first, one may believe primarily based on their upbringing or other factors and divinity outwardly, that God exists outside of them. Of course, that's true. Because what you see, which is seemingly outside of you, is simultaneously within you. In other words, all of this Five sensory reality, this 3D reality, is a manifestation of what's within you. So, although divinity is simultaneously outside of you, it's also within you. In other words, all insides have outsides. You can close your eyes. Open them. It's 
Until the next day, time of silence. And nothing can affect your inner peace. Because you're in tune with your beingness. Existence is harmonious. You're not subject to any threats, or dangers, or manipulation, or pain, or anything. Five sensory reality. Which come and go like a fleeting thought. Sometimes less is more. Oftentimes less is more. Simplicity. And so I'll leave it there. Here. difference. Although I'll probably still fill up the description. <laughs>